Hello. And welcome to the bungalow. Oversight and slab this week. But first, one of those uh, funny little jobs. This is cavity fill, or fill in the cavity. So since the bricklayer's been done a lovely job of getting us out of the ground and up to DPC level. We have to bond the two courses of brickwork or the, at the bottom there and bond them together by filling a small amount of the cavity at the bottom. And then to make sure there's no air pockets, get us a little tamp down. Also gives it a sort of nice smooth top. And then just to make sure nothing left on the brickwork to get up, upset the DPC, just a quick brush off. Access is a bit worse at the back. So it has to be man handled round. And there we go, quick view of what we're actually doing. So, wall ties have to be cleaned off to stop them transferring water across. And then we move on to filling the oversight. So we're using up some of the old bricks on the bigger gaps. So in here we're gonna have Bit of type one, sand blinding, then the damp proof membrane, then there'll be the concrete slab. On top of the concrete slab will be insulation, and then finally there'll be a topping of a floor screed, which will be the internal service and bring it up to floor level to match the rest of the building. So once the hardcore spread out in the sort of worst bits, We've got this recycled type one, which then gets spread and compacted. Once that's spread and compacted across, and goes on top. And that has to be feng shuied out, so it's nice and smooth and level.
So once it's right, it tends to get tamped down. Not sure whether this stage is particularly needed, but just to make sure that it's as level as we can make it. So at this point, building inspector wants to see it. So we leave it like this and wait for him. So you can see the drain there in the corner all packed round. In the back here, the corner's left not built. So the block work's missing. That's waiting for the steel. That's going to be bolted down onto the foundation in the corner. So after we've had our visit from the building inspector, the whole area gets lined with the polythene, a damp proof membrane which you can see here that we've put down before the concrete starts going in. Got the polystyrene, a bit of clay ball that was left over, polystyrene is there to stop the plank sinking through the, the polythene and puncturing it to try and protect it as much as we can. And then the sort of laborious task of the barren, the sand and cement round or the concrete round. We actually mixed it all by hand in the mix you can see there behind. It would have involved having a concrete lorry and a pump and to be honest the concrete lorries are so large that they make a right mess of the driveway as much as they make life easy. I think we, the one we had was 44 tonnes and they tend to leave their mark. So as much as it was a couple of days work. It meant that the driveway stayed slightly more intact. And the fact of needing the concrete pump on top of a concrete lorry would mean that the, 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 there was a cost. Cost was slightly higher. So in the same way as the sand, we tamp it down to get the levels right or to get it level across the expanse of the slab. And then it's level checking to make sure we've got enough space left for the insulation and the screed on top and that the floor levels match. So this was the last bit, the last slab round at the back. Bit of a back breaking week this one. There you have it. Floor slab's done. Just want a bit of time to go off, set hard, and actually give us something nice to stand on rather than having to wade through mud for a bit. 
Bricklayer will be back after this. Start getting the outside courses up. So a quick one around of what we've been up to. But as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you again on the next one.